Hello and welcome everybody. This is my installation and the review video of the latest firmware from the Samsung for the Galaxy Note GDN7000. So let me just show you. So this is the latest firmware, the XXLRQ, and this is the Android 4.0.4, the ice cream sandwich. So guys, to install this firmware, you know, uh, go to the Play Store and get mobile load in get the mobile odin pro the pro version um, if you cannot buy it you can just google it so once you have mobile odin uh, installed open it and download the link one and the link two extract it uh, you will get these files okay, let me just show you to the external sd if you extract the link one you'll get this dot tr dot md5 file and you extract the link two you'll get this gmails so extract it and transfer to your external sd and once that's done open your mobile load in pro now go to open file and navigate to wherever you have saved the link one i mean the extracted file of the link one as i have it in my external sd so i'm choosing it and hit ok and go to kernel Again, navigate to wherever you have saved the link to the Gmail file. Select it. Now, scroll down. Uh, select wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache as well, and hit flash firmware. So this will flash the firmware. As I've already uh, flashed it, so I'm not doing it again. So as it's an official firmware, no issues with any of the functionality. Everything works perfect. So you get this touch with UX from the Galaxy S3, the S3 kind of transitions by default, you know, with this firmware. Uh, so that's good. And you get this live wallpapers pre-installed, you know, let me show you. You get these three live wallpapers, the Galaxy Note 2 Feather, the S3 Dandelion and the S3 Drop. So let me just show you. You can do the settings, you know. Uh, say I want the water droplet sound and okay now going back sorry and hit set wallpaper okay now you can see that the sounds the water droplet sounds and it seems that as if I'm sliding my finger onto some water surface so that's good so first coming to the apps that you get with this phone are uh, the chat on, the flip board, what else? Uh, the playbooks, the play movies, and some bloatwares, you know, like the Life or Held or HRS Hotels, My Taxi, etc. So you can uninstall it, you know, if you don't want it. The one thing, guys, I've noticed with this firmware is I'm not sure whether you get this in other previous firmwares or not, but I've just noticed it recently. So going to the app drawer and pressing this menu button. You get this uninstall option you know so you can directly uninstall any app you know so you can uninstall any app right from the app drawer as well so that's good and the next thing I've noticed is again hitting the menu button you get this hide application tab and you can hide any app you know just select it and hit done that will hide your app that's pretty much it okay so now coming on to features you know that you that you get with this firmware so going on to gallery uh, tapping this icon okay you can see that the view mode is different but stylish again pressing it the 3d cube kind you can just rotate up or rotate down i mean slide up or slide down and you can just go through your photos that's good going back some new motion controls going to settings into display you see something called camera quick access enable it and how this works is let me just show you so how this works is you know once your phone is locked just tap and hold, hold on to your home screen and just turn your phone okay you can see that camera is open now so that's good so the next thing that has been added to this firmware is going to menu settings uh, motions and you can see that there's something called direct call yeah so how this works is you know you have your contacts you know you open up that contacts and if you uh, put your phone right to your ear it will automatically call that contact 
okay say you are uh, reading someone's text you know and you want to call them just put your phone to your ear it will automatically call that contact so that's a pretty cool feature that's from the galaxy s3 and it's also available in the upcoming note 2 the album effects the 3d effects that i showed you uh, that's from the galaxy s3 and it's also available in the note 2 as well and also guys you know there have been some performance improvements as well uh, the battery life has been improved a bit and also this firmware is really faster than other firmwares so guys that's pretty much it it's a short review you know uh, just to inform you about the new features just to show you the new features so thanks a lot for watching stay subscribed bye bye now and have a good day